Hey guys, Ivan here. I wanted to talk about this bodybuilder right here, whose name is Michal Križo. I probably butchered his name, he's from Slovakia. So he's one of the top European bodybuilders, although he is competing in the IBB Elite Pro. He just won Arnold Classic Europe and Arnold Classic South Africa, which are basically the top IBB Elite Pro competitions right now. Now this guy is not in the IBB Pro League, unfortunately. Why is that? That's a good question. He is probably being paid a lot. He probably has a bunch of sponsorships and everything is paid well. So if he competed in the IBB Pro League, he would be banned in the IBB Elite Pro, of course. So he must choose one, one federation. There is a lot of Elite Pro bodybuilders who are really good. But uh, nobody is really at this level. Nobody has the potential such as uh, Michal Krizo has. So I wanted to compare him to Kevin Livroni because I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see a lot of resemblance. Now, Kevin Livroni is one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. Nobody will get to, to his level. Nobody will be new Kevin Livroni. But this guy resembles him quite a bit. So, personally, I was always a huge fan of Kevin Lebroni, mainly because of his long muscle bellies. And uh, now, I'm finally seeing somebody with those kind of genetics, with genetics similar to those. With those long muscle bellies. As you can see, those uh, biceps are very long, very thick. Same thing goes with his triceps and with everything else, really. Uh, he has a large frame. As you can see right here, he's compared next to Cedric and they are pretty much the same height. So he, he's a tall guy. He's not short. And he fills out his frame very nicely. On the stage against other guys, he stands out. He stands out. Not only with his size and with the fullness of his muscle bellies, the length of them, but also with an amazing shape, amazingly small waist that makes his physique look even more freaky. And his stomach, his midsection, is very aesthetic as well. It's not messed up by any means. He kept it looking nice. It looks, it looks fine. It looks good. Most of the guys today have messed up midsections. Mikal Krijo has a really aesthetic and good looking midsection, which I really respect. It makes his physique look so much better. Now, obviously, this guy, as Louis Marco used to say, is not out of the oven yet. He still needs a lot of work to do. He needs to grow. He needs to get more conditioned. He needs to fix a little bit uh, of his legs and his back. He needs to fix his posing a little. So there is a lot of room to progress and progress he will. Also, this guy is very young. Um, he was born in 1990, which is also the year before Kevin Leroni turned pro and uh, went to the Mr. Olympia the year after. Anyways, uh, Michael Krizo or Mikhail Krizo isn't even 30 yet, so he still has uh, a couple of years to reach his potential, his full potential, probably like uh, five to six years to get matured completely, to get conditioned, to fix a couple of body parts, and hopefully, hopefully to switch to the IABB Pro League. No matter how much they're paying him, there is no Mr. Olympia, and I'm sure every bodybuilder wants to be the Mr. Olympia. I'm sure his motivation were guys like Kevin Leroni, Ronnie Coleman, Jake Cutler, Phil Heath, and so on. So Elite Pro is more of a European professional league, basically. But there is no Mr. Olympia, there is no Arnold Classic, Ohio. So not really a lot of major shows. I'm sure those guys are trying super hard to make their own federation grow or to potentially overgrow the IBB Pro League. But guess what? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Mr. Olympia is Mr. Olympia. It has a history. It has a huge history. So no matter how many shows in the IBB Elite Pro he wins, and he's winning them pretty easily, because he's dominating those stages, it doesn't matter unless you win the Mr. Olympia, or at least, uh, at least place the Mr. Olympia. At least show up there. You're not really an achieved bodybuilder. Mr. Olympia is the goal of every bodybuilder in the world, and I'm sure it's his goal as well. But uh, I'm sure he's waiting for the right moment. He doesn't want to abandon all of his sponsorships just for a chance, the Mr. Olympia. I'm pretty sure that if ever, if, if he ever gets to that level that he feels like he can win the Mr. Olympia, or at least place in the top 10, top 6, something like that, 
he will switch the federation. He will actually try to become a pro in the pro league, and I mean, he'll become one easily right now, I'm sure, but to place uh, at the top 10 at the Mr. Olympia or top 6 or something like that, that's gonna take a couple of more years of work. So I'm sure eventually we'll see him uh, in the pro league. And what do you guys think about his physique? Do you think he resembles Kevin Levroni? Do you think he will be the Kevin Levroni 2.0? How do you think would he do at the pro shows or at the Mr. Olympia right now? And what do you think his potential is in the future? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe, guys, for more bodybuilding videos like this. We are almost at the 20,000 subscribers, guys. So that's gonna be a huge milestone. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and uh, all the best. Bye-bye.